Before we go any further, I would like to send a message to all the underground MCs out there working hard. The time has come to realize your net worth in the market and stop being a fucking commodity. And if you didn't understand what I just said, then you already waiting to get fucked. For example, a lot of these promoters are doing showcases, throwing events, and not even paying the workhorses. They trying to get us to rock for the love of hip hop or rock for the exposure. Uh, look, man, I don't mind doing a guest spot for my peeps or, or doing a benefit show. But don't lie to me, pussy, because I find out I'm paying your light bill. I'm fucking you up, nigga. Besides, you ain't doing this for the love. You ain't doing this for the exposure. You charging up to $10 at the door, and you ain't trying to give me shit? So wait a minute. You want me to go shopping, cook the food, and put it in front of you, but you won't let me sit down and eat with you? The fuck is that? Niggas need to start playing their position, man. Just cause you throw a party or host an event or an open mic or a showcase or a battle, that don't make you important at all. Without me and everybody like me out there, you ain't nothing but a good idea, motherfucker. So stay in your place. And to all these bitch ass ARs who are too lazy to come up with a way to sell records, so they keep recycling marketing schemes and imagery. There's a market for everything, man. There's a market for pet psychologists, nigga. There's a market for twisted shit fetish videos, for nipple rings, for river dancing, for chocolate covered roaches. But you can't find one for cultured, hardcore reality and hip hop. People like you, the house nigga executives, and them rich motherfuckers that own you. You the motherfucking machine, man. You and all these niggas talking about the same shit with the same flow over the same candy ass beats. But I refuse to feed the machine And I'm not giving any magazine money So maybe my album won't get five mics Or double excels or five discs or Whatever man, fuck it But then again You don't own me And none of you niggas ever will If I'm feeling what you fight for I'm rolling with you to the end But if not, then fuck you and the more that MCs, producers, DJs, and independent labels start to grasp the conceptuality of what their contribution to the business of hip-hop is, rather than just the music, the more the industry will be forced to change. Oh, and one last thing. You don't have to agree with everything I said, but don't ever be condescending to me. Bigging up your whack ass friends that rhyme and being like, oh yeah, Mortal Technique, he's aight. No, nigga. Your mom's pussy, that's aight, okay? Your people's getting shot dead in the street, that's aight. I'm the motherfucking Immortal Technique, nigga. The message and the money. And you ain't got either. Remember that. Punk ass motherfucker. See, the black race can't afford you no more. Oh, there used to be a time we'd see somebody like you singing, clowning, yassa bossing, and we wouldn't do anything. Folks like that. You were good. Homey kind of nigga. When they needed somebody to mistreat, call a name or two, they paraded you. Reminded them of the good old days. Not no more. <laughs> 